So I have my second fillet. It's start almost dry. We're going to let this dry overnight. As I was looking over what I have left, there's a bunch of these little pieces here. And that came from when I cut the fins out. But it does give me an idea. Um, I can simply take these and mount them up here. I think that would look pretty nice. Maybe up a little higher so it's not directly in the joint. Anyways, so we got some of those. I think I'll glue those on for a little bit. Otherwise, I'll just let this dry and attach those fins somewhere. I was thinking about another idea, and that is that with the tail cone back here, I could make a fin that actually follows the contour of the tail cone, uh, something like this, and maybe have that come up halfway. Um, I think actually a different rocket design what I would like to do is to make a fin that starts at the tail cone and comes all the way up. It's sort of like a high flyer fin coming back, but I've merged on into the tail cone. So anyways, a lot of different ideas here. I'm going to go ahead and let this glue dry and get the launch lug on, and hopefully by tomorrow morning it'll be all done. So I finished the build of this custom rocket. Not really sure what I'm going to call it. So it's on the right, a comparison to a regular size high flyers on the left. Um, you can see this rocket is quite a bit taller. Uh, about six inches, I guess, total. What it does have is this interesting set of fins in the middle. These were just the scraps from cutting off the regular fins. So I cut the trap trapezoidal fins out, ended up with these tiny little pieces. So I said, okay, those look like nice, cool little fins. Uh, the fins are down here. They're rather large. Trapezoidal shape, they should be pretty efficient. And I got the tail cone on there. So let's go ahead and uh, get this ready for launch. I've got to uh, do the usual priming and painting. I'm not going to cover that. Uh, what's more important was just to have the build so let me go ahead and finish the rocket up. And the next couple of projects is that now I have several rockets that I built, but I do not have recovery systems for them. So I'm going to have to start building recovery systems at this point in time in order to make the March launch. Okay, so again, another fun project. I've been waiting for some time to build a rocket like this, and now it's all set to go. Well, it's finally done. My custom rocket number two. It's on the left. It's got the trapezoidal fins. It's got the little triangles near the uh, middle. Yellow nose cone. I painted this with a color shift paint called turquoise water. It's really interesting. It's got a, a bluish color and it will shift to like a purplish red. Next to it's a high flyer, just for comparison. So you can see how long the high flyer is compared to the new rocket. So all I have to do is just build a recovery system and it'll be all set for launch. 